tomorrow. Uh, first section in Bangor until 1.30 p.m. Um, Simon? Simon. <laughs> Eric, um, could you first of all clarify whether Jaden Sancho is in the squad for tomorrow? And also, there was a lot has happened since you spoke to the media after the Arsenal game. Could you just kind of give us an indication of what's happening and, and why there's this issue? Well, we close the game. Hey, we, um, yeah, we work on the feedback. We give the team feedback. Uh, I think we played very well in Arsenal. You could already see before the game, we trained very well, we played very well. I think uh, we deserved much more in Arsenal. It was not on our side. Uh, that was definitely the outcome of our analyse. And, but you see, we are progressing uh, against a good Arsenal. But uh, at a minimum, we had, to uh, we had to get a draw there. And I think uh, we should have won there. But we didn't. But we take the performance. And also in the last two days, when all the players they came back, uh, we trained very well. And we are ready to fight Brighton. Uh, very good Brighton. But we are really looking forward to it. We have a lot of energy. But as I say, we have a good vibe, so we are ready for it. With respect, I asked you about Jadon Sancho and your, his response to what you said after that game and also the statement that came out yesterday, whether there's been any resolution to that. Oh, I think everything is set. So, and as I said, squad is strong, squad is in good spirit, good mood, go into the game. It, it doesn't feel as though is a good mood when you consider the Jaden situation. Anthony obviously is not available to you. How can the squad be in? <laughs> they are very good because yeah, you have um, you have sometimes setbacks in seasons. Uh, players are uh, injured or other reasons. They are not available, and therefore uh, you construct a squad. And yeah, uh, and the squad is very good. And players who are available are very motivated to give a good performance. Eric, can you give us an insight into who is available for this game then? Alessandro Martinez, is he OK to play? Yes. N no issues with his injury anymore then? No. Uh, Victor Lindelof's OK? Yes. Uh, Mason Mount? No. Raphael Varane? Uh, no, but uh, both are in a good place. They are, uh, I think, shortly before a return. Uh, can I ask you about Harry Maguire as well? The England manager, Gareth Southgate, and Harry's mum actually have spoken out about some of the abuse that, that Harry's received over the last few weeks, months, even years for, for Harry, the way it's been going. H how have you supported him through this situation you see him on a day-to-day -day basis here around the club? Yeah, but I think I already I have said many times, it's, not, it's disrespectful, he doesn't deserve it. He's a great player, he's given great performances. Um, uh, it's crazy, but yeah. It's how it works, and Harry has, uh, has to block this by performances. And obviously, Harry said as well that he feels he's able to cope with the, the, the criticism, the scrutiny, the abuse. On a, on a day to day basis, like I say, being here around him, how do you see him dealing with that? Yeah, good, but it's unjustified. <laughs> if you see his career, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great career, uh, and it has a lot to come. Uh, and as I said, uh, he has to block it by good performances. Thank you. So. Hi Eric. Um, how much do you feel sometimes a bit of a, a father figure to some of these players? With all, the, all the management you have to do around them, you know, it's not just what they're doing on the training pitch, is it? No. <laughs> it's uh, also, uh, you live uh, with the generation, it's about um, team constructions, the group dynamic, but it's always about team. And team is ahead of anything else, but yeah, in the team, anyone plays his role, and anyone is different, has um, different characters, and yeah, you uh, you have to uh, to manage those characters. Uh, but also, yeah, as I said, the team is always above anything else. Uh, and you know, we, we know that you can have a very very strict line sometimes. Are you do, do you stick to that with these players, or, or have you been able to give a bit more more leeway to some than others? Yeah, but. <clears throat> Strict line, that is what the, the point, but uh, the, the club asked me uh, because there was uh, no good culture before I entered last season uh, to set some standards, and that's what I did. Yeah, then it's my job uh, to control the standards. And, and of course, it's not, uh, it's never have been as well that someone, when you make one mistake, 
Eh? No, there are, it's a whole process eh? um, before you come to a certain outcome eh? about strict lines. Eh? But yeah, if uh, staff of players or, or whatever who, eh? if they, uh, if there's a structure uh, to cross lines, yeah, you have to be be strong, absolutely. And you mentioned there about, about culture and how the club's changed since you arrived. Of course, Brighton was your first Premier League game. Where do you see this team now against Brighton again compared to when you first started? Oh, I, I, I love it to play them huh? because it's typical. And we had uh, two great games uh, in, in spring against them. You saw it was really head to head. We know we have to play tomorrow to our best um, because they will uh, let you sacrifice and suffer. Uh, but also, yeah, uh, it gives you a lot of options. So I'm uh, really looking forward to going through that fight. Thank you. Okay. Well, Sorry. Uh, okay. Last Hi. question. Is Sorry. Do you have an idea how long Anthony may be away from the club? No idea. Have you spoken to him over the last few days? Is he okay? Yeah, of course, he's disappointed, but he is okay.